everyone, I'm Polly and I will be narrating Mouse and Bear as part of the Concertini's Musical Stories project. Now this musical story is based on the book by our friend Kev Payne and I really recommend you get a copy to read at home or school or at nursery. This little film will help you learn all about the book and the music and some actions as well. But first, let's meet my friend Kathy, who's going to help us get our bodies and our voices all warmed up. Okay, I want you to copy my actions. Our story is about a mouse. Can you make yourself like a mouse? really small and quiet and you're going to make a squeaking noise squeak squeak best mouse squeak squeak and you're going to tiptoe along very small and then in contrast we have the bear reach your arms up as tall as you can go on your tiptoes to make yourself really tall and you're gonna be big and loud. Can you make a loud bear noise? Like, rah! Okay, now be a mouse again. Quiet and small. Squeak, 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 bear! Rawr. Mouse! Squeak, bear! Well done. Okay, now we're gonna have a go at some of the other animals in our story who are mouse's friends. So we've got the cat. Can you make a cat noise? Okay, and we also have a cow who is friends with mouse, so we're going to make a really low moo. Have a go. Moo. And we also have a horse who's one of mouse's friends. Can we make a neigh? Neigh! Neigh! Like we're jumping up. Neigh! Neigh! Now, later on in our story, there's a big storm. So we're gonna try and make some noises of the wind. So I want you to blow out and see if you can make a noise like the wind. Have a go at that. You can add some whistling to it to make it sound like the wind like this. We can also make a shushing noise to sound like the wind. Shh. Choose one of those noises and see if we can make a big windy sound. Shh. Now, mouse gets very cold in the storm. Can we make a cold noise like? It's very chilly. And now, now the storm is over, we can relax and sigh out. <sighs> At the end of the book, Mouse gets lots of food. I want you to imagine that you're eating the nicest food you've ever eaten. And we're gonna make an mmm sound. Mmm, think about that really yummy food. Mmm, and the next thing we eat isn't so nice. So can you give me a Blair, blair. Oh, but the next thing is that really nice thing again. Mmm, mmm. Okay, well done. The music is written by the composer Paul Reisman, and he has written some brilliant little songs that we would love your help with. Do you think you can do that? Okay. Let's learn them now. The first song we sing, you look after me. I'll look after you. Can you point with me? You look after me. I'll look after you. Brilliant. Have a listen to this. <laughs>
Brilliant. You might want a little practice of that now. In this next song, we pretend to be a big, grumpy bear. So can you show me your grumpy face? And can you shake your heads? And we sing, there's not enough room for a mouse. Can you say it with me with your grumpy voices? Ready? There's not enough room for a mouse. Have a listen to this. There's not enough room for a mouse. There's not enough room for a mouse. Can you do it with me? Ready? There's not enough room for a mouse. There's not enough room for a mouse. So, in our third song, the bear sings, Give me more, give me more, give me more food. And then the mouse very bravely says, No. Can you show me your grumpy bear voices? Give me more, give me more, give me more food. And your brave mouse, ready? No. Well done. Let's try it. Give me more, give me more, give me more food. No. No. Ready. Give me more, give me more. Brilliant, well done. So you now know all of the songs and actions. You might want to just keep on practicing them before you do the story. Next, let's find out about the musical instrument in our story. Hi, I'm Jack and I play the clarinet. I play the music for the concertini's musical story, Mouse, Unbell. This is a woodwind instrument. I blow into it to make a sound. See if you can blow out and make it sound like the wind. <gasps> this clarinet is the mouse in our story. Have a listen to this, and why don't you see if you can move around like a little mouse, scurrying about really fast. Maybe even add a few squeaks. I also play the big bass clarinet and it can play some very low sounds. <laughs> The bass clarinet is the bear in our story. Can you have a think about how a big, scary, slow bear might move around and try walking around the room like that while you listen to the bass clarinet? <sighs> Brilliant.
Brilliant. I hope you enjoy the musical story. Great. So, keep practising those songs and actions. And also, don't forget that there's a free activity pack at the Concertini's website. So you can explore lots of really fun creative activities at home or at school or at nursery. So, we really hope you enjoy the performance of Mouse and Bear. And do get in touch and tell us what your favourite bit was. Mm -hmm.